This video tutorial will introduce you to the Google Site System uh, and give you guidance as you develop your site within that system uh, that you're going to be using for the rest of the project. Uh, you have already done some of the basic planning for your site. You have some sense of what you want to do and how you want to pull the various components of the site together. Uh, you've completed the organizational scenario, so now you know the organization that you're going to be working with. I'll be using Kentucky Classics, the one listed here, as the sample. And so now we're going on down to uh, part one of the project in which you use Google Sites to build a basic website. Uh, and later on, we'll add analytics and webmaster tools to that as well. So to get started, let's open a new tab. And then go to sites.google.com. Uh, and notice that I have already registered with, with Google, and you will have done that as well. And so you'll use your Google account to do that. I have a couple of sites up already, uh, and uh, those won't appear for you, but you will have this button, Create New Site. So that's what we're going to do. You have the chance to choose a template for the site. You should browse the gallery and put 675, our course number, in the search field. And now you have the site template that we'll use to get going. And so let's select that. We've now done a template. Put in a name for your site. Mine will be Kentucky Classics. And you see that, that the URL is populated below. This is going to be the URL for your site. Let me show you a couple things here. One we'll use, one we won't. Down the way as we go along, you will be able to change the theme of the site, which is some of the graphic look and feel, which provides a graphic component to the template. We're not going to do that now because you can change that later. Uh, there is another option in which you can put the site description. Uh, this will be one of the first meta tags that you use, and this will be included in your site as well. I'm just going to enter some text. I want everyone to see it. Uh, we're not going to have any mature content. Uh, then I enter the code. Google Sites ponders. Now what it's doing in the background is setting up that site, creating the various pages that are involved in it. And then it's going to present it to me here in just a second. So notice that I now have a home page uh, and uh, a series of, of pages that are already set up for the site uh, that I'm going to use as the basis for what I do. Now let's take just a second here to see where we stand and how this fits into the overall project. On the left hand side you have a list of all the pages that are already present here uh, within the site. Uh, the codes R1, R2, and O uh, mean the following. Anything listed as R1 is something you'll work on and is due in part one of the project. Uh, R2 then is for the second part of the project and all the pages with O on them are optional. Note that each page already has content but it already has some instructions for you about how to develop the content and expand it, uh, showing you how to use various aspects of the Google Sites program in conjunction with Google Docs, which is some of the resources that you have. Uh, you also then have the capability of editing uh, any of the components of the site, and what you'll do is build the site by editing it page at a time as we go along. A uh, couple of things real quickly to, to do as we get started here. I'm clicking More Actions and then Manage Site and General. And now I can provide uh, an expanded uh, description of the site, uh, including the site name, uh, which will show up uh, as the title. So I'm going to just simply call this uh, Kentucky Classics Online. I save those changes, return to the site, and there they are. Now in this project, what the first component that we have now, there are only two things that you have to do. Uh, one of them is on the home page and one of them is on the About Us page. Uh, take just a second to look over the characteristics that the, your home page is going to be doing. You will use it to explain, to welcome visitors to your site, to explain what you're trying to accomplish with it, and describe how it fits together. That is, you're going to give them some idea of the content that they will encounter as they move through the pages that you have listed 
uh, on the left. The About Us page, which is the only other one we'll work with in this component of the project, uh, is where you will explain some information about the background of the organization, uh, perhaps its history, its activities, that sort of thing. Uh, now you have additional instructions here on how you can use Picasa and YouTube uh, as you go through the projects and modules of this project. You will be uh, developing content at those places that you might want to use here uh, to help convey the story of your organization to users. So for right now, uh, let's just put some, some basic content uh, in each of these two pages. And I'll start with the About Us page by clicking Edit Page. And now I'm able to adjust the content of the page as we go along. First thing I will do is get rid of this header, which is for instructional purposes, but doesn't need to be in the final site. Uh, and I will provide some background information about the site. Uh, as soon as I have what I want, I hit Save. And those changes are now incorporated into the site, and we're, and we're back and running. And there we are. That's what the site looks like. Now this URL uh, is, what you can, is what you can now use uh, to draw users to the site or to, to email to anyone who wanted to have a visit. Let's do the same thing. Again, we'll have a start with just some basic content and get rid of the header and save that. And so, uh, as simple as that, you are back now on the Kentucky Classic site. Later on, you'll change the logo and the look and feel of this site. Uh, but for right now, you have a basic website that you can use, uh, the, the URL for which you can place then uh, in Facebook, YouTube, and any place else that you want to do that uh, to draw traffic to the site. Uh, that concludes this video lesson.